Good morning, good morning, good morning, Taurus. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you come across this reading, Taurus. I hope everyone is staying safe. How are y'all doing? How are you feeling? I love you guys. How are y'all feeling? Thank y'all so much for your beautiful, beautiful energy. Thank you so much for your loving compliments. I am humbly grateful. I take nothing for granted. Thank you so much for the love that you show me. I want to give a big shout out to all of you, even the ones, even the uh, the ones uh, that watch me and don't really say much, but you show me so much love through emojis. I want to say thank you. I see you. I want to also say thank you to all of my super thanks, all of the generosity, all of the love that y'all show me, all of just supporting me. I want to just say thank you. Thank you so much for understanding and allowing me to help you to become your higher self, okay? Because this is this is something that, uh, uh, that you chose to do that you want to become better in your life and you want to create your own happiness. And I want to say thank you for trusting me to help you on this journey okay so to new viewers cross watchers please come on in take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else i love you guys thank y'all so much um i'm still having a little def difficulties with my uh uploading so uh just please bear with me everybody okay thank you so much uh, but do remember do remember, there are lessons, blessings, and confirmations in all of my readings, okay? Just just please be very vigilant. So, Spirit Guys, as you give me clarity and understanding, this is for my beautiful Tauruses. Let's see what's in your energy. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Uh, you have failure here, okay? But it says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn from it. OK, so, you know, sometimes we may fail at things or sometimes things uh, uh, we may we may can't get, you know, things may not fall in place the way that we want. But we also don't look at, at failure as something bad. Look at it as an experience of 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 uh, opportunity to learn from it. OK, an opportunity to learn from your mistakes and move forward. So don't beat yourself up about uh, whatever it is that you felt like you you failed at or you did not finish or something you did not finish or something you did not uh, pursue or did not continue with don't look at it don't look at it as a fail you just look at it as an opportunity to learn from look at it as a uh, it's a mistake everybody makes mistakes but it's up to you to learn from those mistake mistakes okay it's, a, it's only an opportunity to learn from it if we don't if we don't fail as if you don't if you if we don't fail and, and be disappointed at something uh you know what would our life be like because that that is obstacles that you overcome okay so don't don't look at it as that you failed just look at it as the opportunity that you have that you know that you you can learn from you can take it and learn from it okay so let's see what else adversity exactly that you can learn from it and keep going through the adversity through things not working out as you plan and spirit it just brought in my spirit spirit guy says stop beating yourself up some of you are being too hard on yourself about you you put you you really really you know what we can be you can be your own worst critic you can be your own worst friend you can really bully yourself and through this adversity this challenge that you feel like feel like you failed at or you feel like that it was not successful spirit guys say learn from it and keep going learn from it and make it better and it says adversity that's what adversity is is pushing through it adversity is is you know even if it did not work out in the way that you wanted to i still don't like that word failure i don't like that word failure it does not it does not sit with my spirit at all when i say the word so uh don't look at it as failure look at it as mistakes that we all have to learn from it's an opportunity to learn from and the adversity whatever it is that you've been struggling with whatever that you've been trying to overcome it says accept that challenges are the best way to learn so whatever this is that you felt like you know if it's relationship a job a career uh, whatever you wanted to happen and it didn't happen it failed it you know and and, and the spirit guys say don't look at it as a as you as you being a failure 
See, it's how it's how we program our mind. You know, that ego side wants you to think that you fail. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing right. Why you always messing something up? Why you always this and that? And Spirit God said, I need you to stop beating up yourself. I need you to stop making it hard for yourself. I need you to stop. Okay? Uh, and this is adversity. You're going to get through it. You're going to learn from it. And you know what the thing about it is when you go through adversity, whoever I'm talking to, Taurus, when you go through adversity... And when you get through it, you ain't going to realize like, wow, that you made it through. And this time was better than the last time. The last time was a learning experience. And once you got through this adversity, then you realize, oh, okay, I see now. I see now where I needed to learn from that. Okay. So don't take, uh, because you know, all the time, don't take things as it being a failure, take it as it is a learning opportunity for you to do better. Okay. Sometimes we have to reprogram our mind of how we perceive things into our, into our knowledge, into our head that we'll tell ourselves that we're not worthy, that we're a failure. We can't do nothing this. We can't do nothing that when you need to put into your mind because you are your own best friend and tell yourself, okay, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't have the information that I needed. I didn't know. I wasn't da, 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 da. So I'm not looking at it as fair. I'm looking at it as this is an opportunity for me to learn. Yes, I'm going to get through this. Yes, I'm going to push through this. Yes, this is a stumble, uh, a little a roadblock. But yes, I'm going to push through this. This adversities. Okay, that's where your strength come from. Okay. So, yeah, surrender. Surrender is here. And it says, I can release my need to control. I can release my need to control. So, <clears throat> like I say, a lot of you are very hard on yourself. You want, you know, you're holding on. You're trying to control the the whole outcome, the situation. And I I believe that's where the the where where you beat up yourself so bad. It's because you control the situation so you really really control the situation. And so when it doesn't work out, then you really you really go in on yourself. You really beat yourself up. You really are your worst own enemy. And I, and I get it. It's like some of you don't like to lose. Okay. Some of you don't like to lose. Some of you just, you know, but you need to let up off yourself. Spirit guys is saying and surrender to letting go of the control. Okay. Tell me more spirit. Envy. Yeah. I feel like. Um, I am the same as everybody, but in different challenges. So I feel like people are, people can be very envious of you, but you're the same, just like everybody else. It's just that you carry your weight differently. You understand you carry your weight, you carry your situation, you carry what it is that you go through a whole different, different way. You carry it different. And so when people look at you, they feel as though that you ain't been through nothing. When they don't know that you have had a lot of failures, a lot of opportunity, a lot of missed opportunities, that you have, you know, been through a lot, that you have, you know, but you made it through with the adversity. They don't know the, the struggle that you have had to deal with in your life. But their envy and don't know that you are you just like everybody else. You just have your different challenges. But, you know, and I feel like a lot of you, you know, some of you feel very guilty. Okay? You feel very guilty. I release any beliefs that no longer assist. You know, you feel guilty about, um, you know, not being where you want to be at this point, in, you know, before at this point in time of your life. But it's all about adversity. It's all about uh, you know, everything is not going to happen just like you want it to happen. And that's where the control comes in at Taurus is that, you know, you hold on to it, you control it. And, um, and it's like you, you know, and that's why I feel like you take it very hard when things do not plan, uh, go in the plan that you want them to go. So, um, and, but people look at you as, uh, got it all together. Okay. Uh, that's how people look at you, Taurus. You got it all together. The, the people that's looking at you, the envy card here, the people that look at you, they think you ain't been through nothing. And I, I, and I know Taurus, like, if only they knew. If only they knew. But that's how they that's how they perceive you. Because you wear it well. You wear it different, okay? You know, um, it, it's just they wouldn't believe the story, the storm that you, you've been through, okay? A lot of you have, you know, have really... Um, 
you know, have lost a lot in your life. You have lost a lot, but you have overcome those things. But if you was to tell somebody that they wouldn't believe you and they're so envious of you and they don't know that you struggled for a long time in your life, you struggled with uh with um trying to be the best person that you could be you was just trying to prove yourself to you know you you struggled with that you struggled with uh uh the word you 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 know failure was not in your vocabulary and you struggled with that but see they don't realize that you fought that demon in you uh with the failure you, you they don't understand that you went through a lot to get where you're at right now. So they only see the finished good about you. They only see the finished good. Spirit guys, tell me more. Let's see what else going on, Taurus. Let's see what else is in the energy. Okay. So forgiveness. Yeah, they don't know what you've been through. You see what I'm saying? They have no clue what you have been through. They do not know. You know? They don't, they don't understand. I, you know, I could be talking to a, a queen that has two children. They don't understand what you have had. Your soul had to forgive. Your soul had to endure. Okay. I feel like some of you uh, at one point in time in your life felt like a failure when it comes down to your motherhood. Felt like a failure. Just your life felt like a failure. They don't understand. It's just that you wear it very well. <clears throat> but they don't know that you suffered with this for a very long time. Until you started your healing journey and started to become your higher self and started to believe in yourself. But they don't know the struggle that you face within yourself. Even down when you were young and you had children. All they see is the outside of you. They don't know that you really went through a lot of adversities. It's a lot that you wanted to accomplish and you did not accomplish at the time. That you were you, you were you, that you were uh, not healed, and so they're envious of you, and 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 they don't even they don't even know why they're envious of you. Is it, all I can see is that they see you, they see you different, you wear it different, <clears throat> and so you had to let go of this guilt. You see what I'm saying? You held this guilt. You had this, you held this guilt inside of you for a very long time, for a very, very long time. And it says, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul gr growth. So you really held the, you really held that against yourself for a long time. You thought you, you really beat yourself up as being a failure. Being a failure, like everything you try, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy, you know, in my younger days or even now in my adult days, everything I tried is like I did not succeed. Everything that I would try to go for, it would not work out. <clears throat> I felt like a failure a, a long time, even down to my children raising my babies. I felt like a failure. And you held on to that guilt for a very long time. Because you were trying to be perfect. You was trying for everything to be perfect. And nothing is perfect. So you went through that challenging of adversity. Of blaming yourself. Being hard on yourself. You carried this with you for a long time. And it, it turned into depression. It turned into anxiety. It turned into um, a lot of things. It trustworthy. Being, you know, it, it really affected your life. It really did. And so you had to, you had to really do a lot of soul forgiveness because you really hurt yourself. A lot of soul forgiveness that you had to do. A lot of reflecting and looking. You know, I, I really pick up the energy that some of you right now I could be speaking to. You feel like you're a failure when it comes down to your babies, you know, you feel like you, you're not being the mother that you should be. And, and you, that is farthest from the truth because I feel like you are beyond that. But for some reason, uh, either you dealt with this as a child, uh, you grew up as somebody had to put that in your mind that whatever you did, it was not good enough. I don't know who I'm talking to, but some of you went through this in your childhood, growing up into your school, you know, into your, your, um, 
your school and everything that somebody somewhere along your journey, along your <clears throat> life, somebody told you you was not good enough. Somebody told you that wasn't good enough. Somebody told you to work hard, work hard. No, make it perfect. Make it perfect. Make it perfect. And I feel like you struggle with that guilt for a long time when it was all uh, um, all in your mentalness. It was all uh, the illusion of what was told to you uh, in some point in your life. You understand? So this was something that you had to overcome. I mean, you had to you had to really overcome this, this, this adversity. This was very challenging. And you had to accept the challenge or, or the best way to learn. You had to learn to, to accept and, 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 and learn to look at yourself and see yourself differently and start loving on you and, and realize that you don't care what nobody else thinks about you. Spirit guys, send me more for Taurus. Yeah, you leveled up. You leveled up. You leveled up. You went from this and you leveled up. You see what I'm saying? Soul forgiveness, soul growth, learning to love you, learning to believe in you, and stop allowing people to say that that's not good enough because it definitely was told to you some point in time in your life. And now you have leveled up. Look at you. Look at the energy on you, queen. Look at the energy on you, queen or king. Look at the energy on you. And it's like, I wish somebody would say that to me now. Because I was young then. I was young then. And some of you are young now. But some of you have transmuted that and, and, and reversed that. You change your perspective on how you let people perceive you. That's what you struggle with the most. With how people perceived you. How you were taught that uh, everything has to be perfection. Or you was taught that uh, that wasn't good enough. Do it. Try it again. Try it again. Now you have leveled up. Yeah, a lot of betrayal. A lot of betrayal. A lot of people. You see what I'm saying? A lot of betrayal. A lot of people, uh, uh, even when you were younger, just spoke negativity into your, into your, into your life. A lot of betrayal. A lot of cardboys. They was carbon things into your life, trying to print things into your, into your head, into your mind, and they did succeed at it because everything that you tried to do, it seemed like it was not good enough. Your parents or whoever it was, your relationships or, or whatever it was, even your friends in school and college, it's like nothing was good enough. Everybody always t had some type of web around you. Always tried to, you know, when you felt good, they tried to, you know, it was always spinning a web in your life. You had you you dealt with a lot of betrayal. And so with the betrayal, I feel like that's where the failure came in at. Where you started to create that into your mind. You started creating that you're a failure, that if you don't do it like it's supposed to be done, if you don't push so hard that you kill yourself, and that you're not going to succeed. When all along there was nothing but betrayal and they were setting you up from an early age on into where you start to perceive it in your mind. When you start to perceive it in your mentalness. And you begin to create it in your reality. That everything that you've done, it was not good enough. And you always try to please people to try to show your best. It was not good enough because you was trying to please someone else or trying to please people when you're supposed to energy supposed to be on you. People going to treat you like you treat you. And this is a web of deceit, a, a, a web of betrayal that you have been betrayed in your life. And it came down to trust, failure. All of that plays a part in your life, which makes you feel like everything that you tried to succeed at and it did not work out that you failed, that you were a failure. Because that was implanted in your mind at the time. It's amazing how you, uh, as you're growing up, how uh, 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 your parents or whatever, the words that when they say words don't hurt, that's a lie. Words hurt. 
and how uh, when when you, when you could speak a word to someone and how it can impact their life as they're growing up into their adulthood. Somewhere, someone along the way had to tell you that um, you need to do better. Uh, you are, uh, that wasn't good enough. That wasn't good enough. And so I feel like when it comes down to rage, you you carried a lot of anger for a long time. You got you got sacred lust out here. I feel like you was just you know it it, it even down to relationships you would do all that you could. You know you would just lay your you lay yourself out there and do all you could uh, to make sure that you please and satisfy the man or the woman that you were with. And all along, all they wanted was your body, not your mind. Sacred lust. It gets really deep, Taurus. It gets really, really deep. Because it plays a part in your life when people, when your parents or whoever it is that raised you speak things into your mind and you start to perceive it and create it into your reality as a little girl, as a little boy growing up. And it begins to make you in fear and make you enraged, make you angry because, and it also puts you in a state of pleasing, pleasing everybody because you want approval. You want approval. Your desire is that I want, I want you to want me. Your desire, I want whoever this is to want me. When reality, you don't love, you didn't love you. You did not value you. You were just trying to please, please other people. And so that's where the betrayal came in at. That's where the web came in. That's where the lies and the deceit came in at. Because you were pleasing, trying to make things perfection. Oh, this gets deep. Very deep. And now it's time to release that. It's time to release that. It says it's time you're being asked to release any toxic people. Or situations from your life, Taurus. You deserve to be free from all drama. And this is the first step to achieving it. It's time to release this. You're not a failure. You're not a failure at all. It's time to release this guilt that you have to be perfect. That whatever you don't succeed, you're a failure. If you don't succeed, just get up and try it again. That doesn't mean you're a failure. If you don't succeed, if it don't work out, okay, let me let me go back to the drawing board and let me make it right. Let me reproof it. Let me do what I do. But don't beat yourself up and say I'm a failure. Release that guilt because it comes from somewhere. It was implanted in you. Yeah, they're going to surrender card twice. Surrender card twice, two different decks. Surrender the need to a uh, control. And pay attention, okay? Pay attention. You're being asked to let go of your need to control each part of your life. It's how you perceive your life. It's how you perceive yourself in situations. It can be in any situation. Let go, it's, you know, let go of control issues and start to believe in you. Start to believe and focus, regain your focus on you. Some of you, it's time to start healing this wound. It's time to start healing this wound that you have carried for so many years uh, as a child all the way up. That you had to always, that you felt like everything you did was a failure and you would, you've, been, you've been very hard on yourself for many years. And I'm talking to a lot of you because we're all in adults now. And you it's time to surrender to that because you've been holding on to this. Still, you've been you, this is this is a shadow work. This is something, this is a dark wound that you still have not healed from. 
It's time for you to forgive yourself. Soul forgiveness. Something to go back in your teenage years. It's time to forgive yourself. You're not a failure. You just did not know. You didn't have the information uh, to know. And, and you're not a failure because something didn't work out. That doesn't make you a failure. It just it just tells you to, to, to take what didn't work and just learn from it. Okay, just because you don't pass a test, a driver's license test, does that make you a failure because you failed it? No, go back and try it again. But I feel like as, as you were growing up, that it was perceived in your mind a different way. That's why you feel like you had to always please people. You had to go for your best self. And when it did not work out, you, you, you felt you was a failure because you had been carved in, into betrayal. So a lot of you, yeah, a lot of you moving away, walking away, walking away from those, from the very people or, or situations that has caused you to make you feel like you was not worthy, that you made you feel like you was not worthy of who you were. You had to walk away from Council Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because they was not investing in you and you had to learn your worth. You say, you know what, just because this did not work, that doesn't mean that I failed at it. I gave all I can give. You know, when you change your perspective on how you see failure, how you see what did not work, yeah, suddenly, when you see how things did not work, uh, yeah, left out in the cold, yeah, you look at here, get somebody else to do it. Friends, lovers, families, gossip talked about you, you know, you moved away, sudden, sudden things, sudden changes start, you sudden changes started happening. You had to leave these people behind. You had to leave these people up behind. Very people that, that talk down on you, gossip and talk trash about you. Said you wasn't going to be nothing. You wasn't going to amount to nothing. Wasn't going to amount to nothing. And you, you always, you know, you always play that in your head. And you need to heal from that because you are a queen or a king. Yeah. Yeah. Any other message? See, you're recovering. You can't go nowhere. You can't go but up now. A lot of you have recovered a lot. Look, cars falling everywhere. Yep, sunshine. Look at here. Look at here. Absolutely. Now look at you. You're manifesting big time. Things are changing in your life. You're happy. You're destined for greatness. Destined for greatness. You're manifesting all kind of things in your life. Yeah, some of you following your heart towards a king. A lot of good things are happening, but you have to you have to uh, let go of that old, outdated mindset of how you and you have to. Some of you still need to have do some healing on yourself and be patient with yourself. Be patient and stop being so hard on yourself because we can be our own worst uh, uh, friend. We can be a bully towards each other. So some of you still got some healing and start to believe and re regain your focus that you are not a failure. You are somebody and then some. I'm positive thoughts and energy, Taurus. Until next time.